Hello out there everyone. Today I'm talking about the original gangster, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. With this nice 40th anniversary collector's edition Blu-ray, which has some pretty cool packaging. As you can probably tell, this is that uh, sliding door that led into the uh, Leatherface's lair. And, uh, and inside the disc, uh, here's the disc art. Got this wonderful artwork and then the discs. And this really is the definitive collection for the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Apparently, it was a 4K scan that was done, and um, you know, even though it's not a 4K UHD disc, it looks really good, especially given the limitations of the source material. Now, this I wanted to point out as well. I picked this up for a couple bucks used. It's a standard def DVD of the remake that came out in 2003 and uh, interestingly enough the cinematographer um, Daniel Pearl on the original film lensed this remake and I think that in and of itself warrants a watch of the remake because he basically did it because he was told by the producers that he'll have basically no limitations to his camera um, tech that he'll be using and dollies and the like so he'll be able to do many of the things he wasn't able to afford to do with the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre and they do a nice job twisting up the plot a little bit I think it uh, I think it's a worthy entry and, and I would argue really the only other Texas Chainsaw Massacre worth owning I think Texas Chainsaw 2 has its fans and Toby Hooper was clearly having fun with it uh, but I, all things being equal in my mind the first film and the um, the remake are the ones to uh, to own. And what what can we say that hasn't already been said before about this uh, this film? It really started the low budget independent horror uh, film genre, and you know people like to bring out. Blair Witch Project is an example, but honestly, I don't think it holds a candle to this. Uh, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre actually had a fair amount of talent behind it. A lot of the people involved were film school graduates from the University of Texas at Austin, and Daniel Pearl is a fabulous cinematographer. He really is a wonderful um, lenser and has a great eye, uh, and the, the audio commentary with him in the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre release is great and for anyone interested in uh, cinematography he really provides a, a wonderful sort of behind the scenes look at how he filmed the movie and again this remake I would just say that um, it you know it helps that it had a really good cast uh, and I think this the, the narrative decisions they made were interesting uh, another piece of interesting connective tissue is that John Larroquette the um, ju uh, the um, attorney from Night Court, uh, he played uh, Dan Fielding. Um, he was the the person who did the voiceover at the beginning of, the, of both films, actually, um, in the original and in the remake. Um, and you know, he he had a great voice, and it, it just immediately sort of sucked you into the narrative uh, in a way that few films do. So, on that note, I will just conclude by saying that. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre and its 2003 remake are absolutely worthy of your shelf and uh, of, of, you know, uh, recognition in the annals of classic horror cinema. So take care, stay safe, and until the next time.